like an instance of time from the Mount Sinai, you God, and from the tabernacle of Moses, Lord Father, right unto here, from the Jerusalem, unto this throne, Lord, you rule the household of God, Lord. Not by man, but Lord, thou shalt put a decree and your power upon thy people, of God. And by thy word and thy power and spirit thou shalt govern thine household in all righteousness, truth and justice. Thou shalt lead this house to salvation as many as they believe and walk. In Jesus' name, Amen. amen. Let's give God a good hand. <laughs> Almost 30 years of my ministry. How many? I don't know how many evangelical meetings, lakhs of people, they went under this hand. Lakhs of people. And each one received miracle. Each one received miracle. Anointing, casting, binding, exorcism, cleansing, sanctification, blind seed, deaf ear, dumb talk, paralysis, sickness, disease, unlimited miracle. But miracle doesn't keep salvation, I have seen it. Miracle will be forgotten tomorrow. All miracle will be forgotten, even the dead I have raised, where are they? Gone. Jesus said, in last days, remember this, it's who says Jesus, very important. Who says is important? Not, not the priest, not the man, not me. But who says is important? God and Jesus. When he says, in last days, these are the last days, end of the age. End of a generation now is, we are, 2018, Jesus was resurrected. Understand this mystery. Last we saw last Sunday, 1,000 year is a one year for God. And he said it's a time of carrying away in the wind like in the floods of Noah. Like in the floods of Noah. That Psalm 90 is by Moses, who's a fully enlightened. It's like the carrying away in the wind, like in the floods, like Noah was carried in the flood. Likewise, now we shall carry away in the rapture physically. Why are we believer? Why are we following to Jesus? Why are we keeping commandment? Why are we coming to the house of God, going to the church? Have you ever thought? What is it that we are going for? You need to think seriously. Don't be very religious and ritualistic. You need to ask this question today. Where, why I'm going to the church? Why I'm going to the house of God? What have I been doing all these years of my life? When I went to the house of God, what I was seeking, what I was looking for. You need to ask this question seriously. Why I'm sitting in this house of God? Why I go to the church? And what is it I'm getting from the other side in my life? What I'm receiving from the other side? Is something happening from the other side of the pulpit? Is it happening something in my life from the other side of God? It's not happening. If it is not happening, leave that place. If this is not happening here, leave this place. But there is not a single soul and single mouth can speak that nothing happened in this house of God in my life. But they testify, I have recorded testimonies, life, death, healing, over and over again. Let's give God a good hand. Amen. Not a one mouth, not a one mouth, but confessed and denied not 
that I received my great life and miracle and blessing in this house and they deny not, they confess it. But in last days, these are the last days. 2000 years and 18, according to God, two days. Jesus resurrected, how he resurrected? Friday crucified, Saturday, Sunday morning, he was up and gone. How many days? Wow. We are already in a due of the second coming. And why will come second coming? To take us who they are really believer, who they are obeying, which is a written, not by spoken by man and the custom of a man. Not by the customs of men, but what God has come From the day one, after Adam received a curse, God has a one mission on this earth. That he want to save every soul and take them to salvation in the heaven. And so now that time we are living in at the moment. But there is one danger in this time. Satan will work double time in your life. What will he do? Let me share it with you. Matthew chapter 13, verse 36. Then Jesus sent the multitude away. Then Jesus sent the multitude away. Oh, jo girdi tha na, crowd tha na, usko Jesus ne bala diya. Jesus ko bekar ki girdi pasam nahi hai. जिसको इंटरेस्ट नहीं है सालवेशन में उसको जीसस जमा नहीं करता है जीसस डजंट गैदर द पीपल हु आर नॉट रियली वर्दी टू लिसन टू हिज रेवलेशन एंड टीचिंग आई वांट टू ओपन योर आईज एंड इयर्स लिसन दिस वेरी केयरफुली वो बेकार के लोग को जमा करके बिठाता नहीं है जी ही सेंड द मल्टीट्यूड अवे दिस इज नॉट फॉर यू गेट आउट बिकॉज दे उनको हजम नहीं होगा उसमें सभी सन नहीं है ऑनर नहीं है रिस्पेक्ट नहीं है जीजस विल नॉट बैर दम फॉर अ सेकेंड इस मल्टीट्यूड ही सेंट अवे ओ आर यू वर्दी टू लिसन टू जीजस होली स्पिरिट की बातें सुनने के लिए आर यू समिव आर यू अटेंटिव आर यू अंडर द डिसिप्लिन एंड कमांडमेंट ऑफ अ गॉड देन ही विल टॉक टू यू वट यू थिंक हु जीजस इज is a man is a god can you mock the lord and he will sit and listen to you he sent away the multitude this is the sign of jesus presence usse bakwas pasand nahi hai in discipline usse bilkul pasand nahi hai he doesn't like it. he cast them out is a king is a lord is a god Today, how many billions of people following this Jesus on the world? Is that God we are talking? Is not some made of a, some mud and a stone? Is a resurrected King who is coming now? हम उनकी बात कर रहे हैं, उनका honour, उनका respect, उनका joy. I do not speak of myself, but I speak of that living Jesus. He sent away the multitude. <laughs> Are you among that multitude that Jesus sends your way? Count yourself. Are you among those multitude that one day you will be sent away by the Lord Jesus Christ? Rebellious, disobedient, indiscipline, breaker of the commandment of God, non submissive. Revolting, dishonoring God, He will send you away. I will never be surprised. In last days, Satan will make you rebellious. Remember my word. If you have rebelliousness in your heart, soon and very soon you will be sent away. The Spirit of the Lord judgeth every heart, every mind, every soul, every spirit. The kingdom of God is not small, 30 years of my ministry. 
started in five star hotel. That's me, did miracle, that race. This ministry was not dependent on anybody, the God around this ministry, amen? amen? So do not take anything upon your flesh. You need, I'm not here to please, we are not here to please men. We are here to please God. And by the way, if you want a salvation, you be submissive and be disciplined and honor God and ministry. Let's, you will be counted among the multitude. Yaha beed karne ka sok nahi hai Jesus ko. Yaha girdi jama karne ka sok nahi hai Jesus ko. If you are obedient, if you are disciplined, if you are honorable in your heart to God, this is the house for you. Where power works, miracle happens every second, morning, noon and night, I do miracle in split second, change your life. He sent away the multitude. Why he sent away the multitude? Now he wanted to talk very, very secret and mysterious things and a private thing. Then Jesus sent the multitude away and went into the house and his disciples came unto him saying, Explain unto us the parable of the tares of the field. Please Jesus, samjhao hanko, ke tares of the wheat kya hote hain? Tares means which are not grain, but the waste, the, the thorns and thistles and grass and foos to hote hain. Wo, it tares kya hai? They're not asking about the wheat. They know the wheat. This disciple knows about the wheat. But the tears, Lord, what is this tear? Uske baare mein thoda detail mein samjhao humko. What are the tears? Who is explaining? Jesus is explaining, not man. Very important who is speaking. He answered and said unto them, He that soweth the good seed is the son of man. The field is the world. The good seed are the children of the kingdom, but the tares are the children of the wicked one. The enemy that soweth them is a devil. The harvest is the end of the age, and the reapers are the angels. Wow, very clear. Tares are put by the devil among the weeds. This world has all kind of people. Believers, unbelievers, unbelievers, deceivers, rebellious, and sinners, adulterers, corrupt, guile, malice, every evil, tears. All evil, rebellious are the tears. Sowed by the devil in the field. The field is of the green, lovely green wheat, and in between, there are tears, thorns and thistles. These are put by the devil. Jesus said, I will remove these tears. I will send my angels. It's a harvest time, end of the age. Now is the end of the age. Harvest is plenty. You know what, he, what does it mean by that? Every tear is a marked. Every rebellious is a marked. Every sinner is a marked. That's what we saw in the Psalms. Lord, the iniquity of the men is, Lord, before thy countenance. The iniquity of the men is before thy countenance. By that man, he said, some they leave. By the three score and ten, and by the strength, some they leave. Four score. Some they will leave seventy years, some they will leave eighty years. Lord, iniquity is marked by you. What does it mean? Do you understand God knows your iniquity? God knows your sin, your corruption, your rebelliousness. That's why you suffer. And only Jesus can remove this suffering. You break one commandment even for one second. Penalty. That Satan grabs you. I'll explain you. Jesus is explaining to his people. I will explain you. My job is to explain you. You break the commandment for one minute. You open the door for Satan. 
Reason is not important. For what you broke that commandment? Which of the commandment you broke? Dishonor your father and mother, you broke the commandment. You didn't pay the tithe and delay the tithe even for one hour. The Satan. From years together I have been preaching. You delay your tithe one hour. One hour you kept the door open for devil. But pastor, how do we do that? Immediately, instantly, moment you received, you put that tithe in the handhold up and seal it on the spot in Jesus' name. नहीं जाएंगे कभी भी जाएंगे देखकर आएंगे पास्टर और कुछ लोग तो यहाँ आकर भी ऐसे ही चले जाते हैं बिना टाइम रिजल्ट सेटन टेक्स ओवर फर्स्ट थिंग यू कम एंड डिस्चार्ज योर टाइम एंड व्हाट एवर इट इस दिस हाउस डजन्ट हैव द बैड गोइंग यू नो इट एंड इफ यू डोंट पे नेक्स्ट मोमेंट द सेटन ग्रेब्स द ह Do you understand Satan's grip? It's a claw with a great death. Claw with a great death which removes the salvation. And you go to hell. And explaining, Jesus explains, I explain in the Holy Spirit to you. What is a tear? Tear who rebels and breaks the commandment. Do not fear God. Mocks God. Violates God. <laughs> what God? You know, there is no God. This is all hocus pocus. Let's, let's play her lottery. Let's play, you know. Jesus, Jesus. Majak hai kya hai? Masti ho rahi hai kya? You can't play Jesus. Break the command. Last days. This is what's going to happen to you. He will bite one one soul every day. And today Satan is biting your soul and heart and if you have the evil in your heart this is a time be warned. If Satan is biting your soul and biting your mind and you are being minded by the devil to be rebellious and to give it to the sin I have a warning right now in the Holy Spirit that Satan is requiring your soul. He wants you to go to the hell. This is what Jesus' end of the age, end of the age now is. 2018 years. Second coming is already rapture. 23rd October it started. October, November, December, January, February. We are already in February, March, April, May. It creates May and June. Makes a nine months that from the Virgo will come out the Jupiter and then will meet the Nibiru and BAM! It's happening, he said, I will show you the wonders in heaven. I have shown you the wonders in heaven. Go on to YouTube. The wonders in heaven from the 23rd October in the world are happening. Still, if your heart is a cold and ready to go to hell, it's your life, it's your soul. Tears, explaining the tears. What are those tears will do? They will leave the church, leave the house of God. After seeing the great miracles and wonders of a God, they will leave God. And their hearts will grow cold. Even the very elect, even the very elect, who they were the deacons and who they were the elders and who they were the great bishops, all they will fall. The very like Jesus said. Who said? Jesus. They will also fall in corruption, adultery, guile, malice, deceit. Very elect. Are you thinking you are elect? Every disciple, baptized believer is elect of God. And if you're not careful, if you don't care for your soul, this is the biggest mistake you do. Your soul will not die. And there will be gnashing of the tree, teeth and crying when the angels will separate these tears and our weeds. This is going to happen. He's speaking from the day one, from the foundation of God, and then through the Moses, he repeats again in the 90, that this is a taking away in the wind now, like the days of a Noah, and now Jesus says, I'm coming, and this is a sign, he's a giving. Yes, and the kingdom, end of the age, 
I'm talking end of the age because this is the era I must preach. This is the food you must get it now. This is the time to eat what you have to eat. This is what you need to learn. And this is what every anointed Holy Spirit minister open the eyes and ears and explain them. Save your soul. Not please the community, not please the people, not please the church. Please your soul and salvation. Be selfish. Who says this? Jesus. I say no, Jesus says. Save your soul. Life will change. Love, joy, peace, prosperity, good health, long life. Then the righteous, who will be righteous? Who will save himself? Will rejoice. As therefore, as therefore the tares are gathered and burnt and burnt and burnt in the fires, so shall it be in the end of this age. The tares. What is your title here on the head? Are you tear? What is your label here? Are you tear? Did you rebel? Did you mock God? Did you commit adultery? Did you did stealing? Did you do corruption? Did you steal tithe? You are the tear. How do you rec recognize the tear? The stealer, thou shalt not steal. He said, you have robbed me, God says in the Malachi. You have robbed me, even the whole nation. You have robbed me, you are a chore, you are a robber. Thou shalt not steal, commandment. There are so many things you can break. How does a Terry recognize? By this manner, Terry is recognized. The liar, corrupt, adulterer, stealer. You know, guy with malice. Who? The blessed is a man who confess and repent. What is the need of this hour? Humble. Be submissive if you know a man of God. And if you think your pastor is a Holy Ghost minister, fall before the throne of a God and ask and say, Lord, forgive me. I have been mean. I have been evil. I have been wicked. Pastor says, it's all right. Be forgiven. This pastor is very kind. He forgives immediately, instantly. Don't lose your salvation, my son. I have baptized you. I have baptized you. I'm not baptized. You made a vow. But many, they are not baptized by me. <laughs> but that doesn't mean they are out of commandment. But the spirit of rebelliousness manifests on them many a time. And they can lose the salvation. Baptism is very important. Who baptized you? Very important. There was a fight. There was an argument between John the Baptist and Jesus. You know, Jesus came to baptize before John. John said, no, you need to baptize me. Jesus said, no, you need to baptize me. John said, you need. No, no, let it be done. You are. And God has appointed you as a forerunner. You, for the system of the world, said, John, you baptize me. Otherwise, everybody will be rebellious in the next forthcoming generations. Let us put the system clearly. And Jesus went in a water immersion. 30 years he was Jesus. There is no other kind of baptism on this earth. There is only one baptism. Immersion, baptism when you are matured and understanding. Others are null and void. You get the feeling you are baptized, but you are not baptized as Jesus did command. Let's understand. We are deceived. We are cheated by the customs of man. Where is the need? When you are understanding what is a sin and what is not sin. When you understand the word of God, with the understanding you receive God, with the great knowledge you receive God, and give your soul to God and say, God, I need to be cleansed, I need to be baptized, I need to be... Now I understand what is the meaning of the purity and baptism I need with the immersion baptism. And what happens that time? Do you receive the Holy Spirit? And that Holy Spirit only will take you to the salvation. There is no other way. In John 3 he wrote it. Unless you are baptized in the name of the Father and born through the Spirit, born through the Spirit, you shall not enter into the kingdom of God. So what are you are playing with your soul? Want to go to hell? In last days, are you the tear or are you the believer? 
This is what Jesus is saying. Lord, explain us. Jesus said, I will explain you. Will you obey? That's a million dollar question. I will explain you. Spiritual, word to word from here, from here, from here, not from here. Will you believe? Question is that. Uh, no. If somebody speaks from here, don't believe him. But anybody speaks from here, say, show me where it is in the word of God, which is spoken by the mouth of Lord Jesus Christ. That's what he's explaining to the apostles. Who is apostle? Who is whom you call a servant of God? On whom you will put the Holy Spirit and anointing. Rest are all fake. Self-made. Self-called servant of God. And what they do? They will preach through the brain. They will preach through the flesh. I do not speak of my own. I have no power to speak in the name of a God in a vanity. It's thou shall not speak the God's name in vain. If you speak in a flesh, you're speaking in vain. But if you speak in a spirit, you're speaking in the name of God. Let's give a God a good hand, man. All these years, 30 years of my ministry, I never speak, I never wrote the message, I never prepared the message. I speak from here. Why should I write a message when everything is written here? If I write a message, I'm writing out of my carnal brain. And then God wants to speak what? Uh, you are a carnal man to his people. No. God said, here I have written everything. You don't write anything about this. Oh, there are more smarter. And, you know, God, you are not very clever. I think I can write it much better than you. And then I can speak much better than you. And I am very cleverer. I am very smarter than you. I can, you know, explain people better. Yeah, you think so. Most of the preachers have this sickness. That they can preach more better and very greater and more powerful than the God's word. Who are you, mister? This kingdom belongs to God. The people belong to God. Are you going to misguide them, mislead them, deceive them? Jesus said in last day, many deceivers will come, be careful in my name. Last days I'm talking, I'm talking this age, generation, rapture time. Are you deceived? You know, people, people consult them and say, oh, you're not going to church? I'm also not going. So that man become your pastor. That your neighbor become a pastor. Your friend become your pastor. Everybody becomes a pastor to you. Is that man is anointed man who is giving you counsel whether to go to the house of God and not to go to the house of God? Who is your master? Is that man or God? Whom will you listen to? <laughs> Many will be deceived by the neighbors, friends, fathers, mothers, families. I'm watching this last 30 years of my experience. Lots of people. You know, in house of service, you know that there are people on the line. Internationally, the whole world is watching this service at the moment. It's a lie. All the years. Don't be deceived. Your soul is very precious. Jesus is very concerned about us. The Son of Man shall send forth his angels. And they shall gather out of his kingdom all the things that offend and them who do iniquity. Whom we will send? Angels. Whom we will gather? Let's see. The Son of Man shall send forth his angel. Jesus will send his angel. Oh, Jesus, you are lying. You will never send an angel. Jesus said, I mean business. If I say I do it, I'm a God. I'm the resurrected Lord. I'm the King of Kings who defeated the Satan and power of darkness. It's me, Jesus said. I will send the angels. For the very purpose, for the very purpose, very appointed purpose, I will send these angels out of the kingdom, he says. And they shall gather out of his kingdom all things that offend, and them who do iniquity, two categories, offenders and the people who commit iniquity. Oh, you are in the clutch of the angels of the Lord. Are you targeted by Jesus today? Oh, you're not believing these verses, right? You never read these verses. You never understood these verses. They are the threat from the heaven to the mankind. 
to the rebellious one and the offenders one. Straight warning by God. Oh no, pastor, you know, he speaks out of his own heart. This message was given to me today morning for your information. I never write the message. I never prepare the message. I don't mug up the message. I never did it in the last 30 years. According to the time and people's heart, he speaks. Whom he will give? Maybe tonight your door will be knocked. And there will be angels of God standing. Chalo. Tumara time agya. <laughs> oh, you offenders. Oh, the man of iniquity. Chalo. Bahaat ho gaya us yaar. Bahaat masti kar li dunia mein. Out of the kingdom. Out of his kingdom he will pick them. Who they are preachers and who they are evangelists, who they are bishops and who they are elders and who they are out of his kingdom who are rebellious and corrupt and offenders and iniquity, sinners, corrupt, adulterers, murderers, liars, deceivers, then he will gather first. Unko uthayega pehle, aisa pakad ke gasit ke leke jayega, tabhi pata chalega aate dal ka bhao kitna hota hai. Okay, what, to, what to mock Jesus and offend Jesus and what to speak up against Jesus and a Lord and a God as South Haiga is a God. Let's understand this very clearly in our heart. Oh, Pastor, Pastor Bol Bol ke thakya. Samja samja ke thakya. Masti jati nahi logo me se. Dar nahi hai God ka. I will speak in the name of a God. La thaya hai kabhi. Have you been kicked by God any time you speak a lie or speak in the name of God in a vanity? You are a dead man. You can't pretend to be God's man. You can't pretend to speak in the name of God when you are not appointed by God and not give. Remember one thing, when God will appoint his man, he will give his Holy Spirit and power. That's only one way. There is no other kind of man I know on this earth. There was no other kind of apostle God appointed. Don't be deceived. There are many will come. Cheat you. They said, I will gather these two kind. Cheaters and liars and all these kind of offenders. Like I, I today, I put a great uniform of the DIG and go in the one red car and I pretend that I'm a DIG. I'm an imposter. I'm a criminal. You can't do this. You can't impersonate as a wrong person. You are not pastor. You are impersonating that you are a great uh, bishop. You are the great person of a God. That's called crying in the name of a God. You are not. Your life is you are drinking man. You are the adulterers, fornicators, deceivers, corrupt. How can you call yourself a man of a God? He's a criminal. Such one, offenders, and who break the commandments of God and who they are, eater of a tithe. He has spoken, warn to you, Pharisees, that you give the tithes, but you make other things very light. Oh, let's not be very smart in the word of God. He doesn't spare. Let's understand very clearly. Jesus is explaining. Apostles are ask, asking this Jesus, please explain us. We want to know the truth. We want to understand. Today I am explaining the same thing that Jesus wanted to explain to his people. Today I am not explaining. These are not my words. These are the word of the Lord Jesus Christ. He spoke to his apostles, same thing. He said, I will send the angels and pick up those offenders who are the tares. Put by the devil. Prepared by whom? Devil. Oh my God, you never knew that you were an instrument of a Satan. No, pastor, you baptized me. Yes, I baptized you. But then the devil put the evil spirit in you. And you had a fellowship with the Satanic people. And you had a wrong fellowship. And you took the spirit of Satan upon you. That's why your language is different. Your behavior is different. Your talk is different. Your walk is different. Your body language is different. You are like a walking like a tear. And living like a tear. And behaving like a tear. You have no fear of God in you. You have no honor. In your heart for God, if you honor God, you will respect and honor the ministers of a God who are anointed servants. No, I, I honor God. But I, you honor God through whom? You honor God through whom you know the God. 
anointed pastors, anointed servant of God who did a miracle in your life and your families and people. Oh, you become a great man, eh? Do paisa jada agya kamaliya kiski kiski blessing se kamate ho. To bade ho gaye. I made you that by my power. Thoda paisa jada agya jeb me to masti agayi. Money is a evil. It makes you arrogant and rebellious. Be careful. Tears. What makes you tears? Your money, your pride, your arrogance, your false knowledge, you know, makes you tear. And you become rebellious. And then when God kicks you and sends angels to kick you and persecute you, you will not like it. He said, I have marked your you know, offense and iniquity. I will send my angel. I will send my angel. That's a promise Jesus has given. I will send and gather them. And what I'll do? I will burn them. Oh, not a not a very small punishment. And all things that offend them who do iniquity and shall cast them into a furnace of fire. There shall be weeping and gnashing of Oh, you don't want to fall in the hand of this king. I will throw it in the furnace. Have you seen the... Do you understand the meaning of furnace? I don't know how many thousand calorie burning, 2,000, 5,000 degree of the fire. In split second you become ash. But your soul will not die. Only body will burn second. But your soul will not die. You will burn and you will burn and you will you never die. Soul never dies. Do you understand you are burning in that furnace? You want to be rebellious? You want to be offended? <laughs> this is the punishment waiting. You want to do iniquity, trespass, transgression, sin, corruption, adultery, fornication, lies, deceit, stealing, murders? Disrespectful. Jesus has prepared the furnace for these people. God is going to burn them like a chaff. Even in the beginning, he has written his fan in his hand. And he will separate his wheat in his granary and the chaff, he shall drive it away. Chaff, he shall drive it away. Multitude, he will send it away. Chaff, he shall drive it away. What are you? Are you chaff? Are you offender? You are numbered. You are marked. You are in the focus of a God. And he said, I'm watching you. I have seen it. I know it. I have seen it. And I am a God that I have seen it. You will not escape for generations to generations. I will not spare you. Surely I will require you and my judgment shall come quickly. This is the age we are talking. Now is a time. Now is a day. Today is a time. Many offenders shall see this fire of furnace now. Then shall the righteous shine forth as a sun in the kingdom of their father. Who hath ears to hear, let them hear. You have ears? Everybody has a ear. Is anybody sitting here who did not have a ear? Or anybody who came in this house of God who was a deaf? Even they came deaf, I opened their ears. <laughs> They were born deaf. <laughs> Even their ears, so they can't pretend and say, Pastor, I was a deaf, you know, born deaf. I said, no, I opened your ear the day you came. <laughs> All they had ears, they heard well, received well, benefited well, fed well, treated well, blessed well. Let them hear who they have ears. Offender, who offended? Do you know any offender? Or are you an offender? That offender will be in the furnace. After that, there is a clear, clear blessing on the righteous. He said, the rest of the righteous will rejoice in a gladness. Then the righteous will rejoice. There will be no problem to them. Then shall the righteous shine forth as a sun in the kingdom of their father. So if you are left as a righteous, who will rejoice?
by the God, the Father. Do you understand the rejoice? Oh, you do not know. On, he will make you plenteous. He will bless you. Love, joy, peace, prosperity, good health, long life, success, salvation, wisdom, knowledge, understanding, honor. He will throw the prosperity in your feet. If you are left in this Elohim house of salvation, as a righteous, you will be blessed people. Who? Who they are left over righteous. But if you, till today, if you are in the category of a dead, soon you will be removed. So be careful, repent. I have only one thing to tell you today. Please stand. Jesus said, confess your sin and repent for the kingdom of heaven. If you want to be out of the hand of the angels, who they are going to come and collect the offenders, and going to collect all the sinners, and the people with the iniquity, I would suggest, this is the time you get out of those hands of the angels. Confess your sin to God and say, Lord, I'm sorry, I'm bad. Lord, I did not understand that I was a sinner. I thought I'm a righteous. My pride took me, my arrogance took me, and I thought I'm rich and I'm powerful, but Lord, I'm a filthy rag. Confess and tell God, have mercy. Lord, let your grace be sufficient, Lord. Take not thy Holy Spirit from me, but Lord, restore unto me the joy of salvation, Lord, that I shall not die and thrown into the furnace and suffer everlasting to everlasting and burn there, O God. But Lord, I pray, redeem me today once again. Let your blood cleanse me, Lord, and sanctify. Oh Lord, I belong to you, Father, I want to come to heaven. Correct me, Lord, O Father, I submit, and I learn thy ways of righteousness, truth, and justice, O great God, O Father. I have sinned against thee. Lord, take away all this iniquity and trespass and transgression and sin and rebelliousness, deliberately, arrogantly, Lord, O Father, and set me free, O God. Let's, Lord, your furnace will burn me. And I shall suffer, Lord, everlasting to everlasting. Lord, take away this evil from me, O God, O Father. Take away all the tears from my heart, O God. But Lord, once again, plant a good seed in my heart of the great blessings of God, O Father, that I shall be redeemed, O God. Once again, cleanse and sanctify me. Pour out thy spirit and anoint me, Lord, that I shall not be lost. But Lord, you seal me in salvation. In Jesus' name I ask and pray. Amen. 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 And all say amen again. Amen. amen. Again say amen. 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 God bless you. That's what your pastor do. He leads you to the salvation. I take your prayer. Sometimes you do not know what to pray. So I lead you in a prayer of salvation. Put the word before the throne of a God. And I save a soul. Nothing personal. Nothing personal here. Never was a personal in my life. My job is to save the soul. I'm not a hireling. I'm not a paid servant under any man that I have to report to somebody. <laughs> That's what Jesus said. A hireling will not teach the truth. Uski nokri chali jai, he will lose his job. No, I can't change this teaching, this is wrong. Two thousand years, I have to do only this. No. That's what Jesus said, hireling will not teach the truth. Remember one thing clearly in your heart, it is your soul. It is your soul. Salvation is a personal. Salvation is not a religion. Salvation is not a religion. Salvation is not a religion. You don't have obligation to no society. You have no obligation to no religion. You have no obligation to anybody, any man, any woman. <coughs> when it comes to your salvation, moks, nirvan, you'll be very smart. Fear nobody. God is your Lord. This soul belongs to your Father in heaven. And we say we are believer of Jesus. Then we fear nobody. Amen? Amen. If we die, we are in the glory of God. Amen? Amen. Amen. God loves you.